Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, if I was a high quality, fancy internet video provider for all of you out there, a YouTuber, a Rumbler, a Twitter, whatever you want to call us out there now that what we do all this stuff across so many different platforms, it doesn't matter. The whole point of that is if I was good at this, I would have this awesome, cool little clip. Remember that scene from Lord of the Rings where the orc guy's like, the time of man has ended and the time of the orcs has begun. I would totally make a really cool little edit that had that exact same thing happening. It said, it said, except it would say the time of the quote is over and the time of the fans has come. Because boys and girls, the acolytes of the cult out there that have pushed ideologies in all of your major studios and corporations, video game companies, and every other aspect of your life, pushing a bunch of nonsense agenda that everybody decides to reject and is obvious at very face value, including trying to change history. Ladies and gentlemen, the fans are rejecting it. This is, we've seen this happen time and time again. Some of the latest examples are some of the Disney trailers that have come out. You've seen some of the other trailers that have come out that have gotten absolutely smashed into oblivion, into the ground as far as the dislike to like ratio. We've also seen this happen with video games. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you hadn't heard about the latest Assassin's Creed Shadow, it tries to promote a false narrative about a historical figure that didn't actually happen the way they're trying to play it as. This character didn't actually end up doing anything as he does in this movie. But of course, instead of actually doing something like, oh, I don't know, maybe actually sticking to the lore of a country and maybe, I don't know, strange concept, maybe the country that you're currently basing your character in, I don't know, maybe the lead should actually be from that country. Like we've seen from every other Assassin's Creed game out there throughout the entire time I've been there. But of course... No, 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 boys and girls. They couldn't pass up the opportunity to push their narrative, to push their diversity, to push their absolute nonsense. And fortunately enough for all of us out there, and fortunately enough for the future of Western civilization and the American video game industry as a whole, all of you beautiful fans out there are not putting up with it. And you are making your voices heard. And they can talk about organization campaigns. Nah, 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 mass faggy, mass ditch, like yada, yada, yada. Except it never holds up to scrutiny because they will try to claim that we're racist and we're sexist and we're this, that, and the other. Except movies that actually star black characters or female characters that aren't pushing the agenda, that are just trying to tell a good quality story, don't ever actually have that happen. So boys and girls, at the end of the day, just remember that you are being completely and totally gaslit by these companies and all of the weird, woke psychopaths out there that want to push an agenda and convince you that you're crazy. Well, let me tell you, let me give you more evidence that you are not crazy, boys and girls. And the majority rejects this nonsense and is not going to put it up. Because let me give you the latest example of that very thing. Every major YouTube upload of Assassin's Creed Shadows trailer holds negative like to dislike ratio official ubisoft version at six hundred thousand dislikes and counting boys and girls yes the fans have spoken and they are rejecting ubisoft's nonsense and that is a beautiful thing that we are here to document today as a friendly reminder to all of you out there who might be black pilled don't be Today is a bright and shiny new day. The pendulum is swinging back our way. Take that white pill and go out there and make your voice heard. Because this is how we win, boys and girls. So we're checking out this article for Battle in the Comics. We're getting all the juicy details and see exactly how bad this is across all of the different platforms. But before we do, if you do all enjoy our content, make sure you hit that like button, share, and or subscribe, and or follow on what platform you on and leave us a wonderful little comment down below because all of that stuff really does help out and it makes us feel nice as providing all of this wonderful content news for you guys it makes us feel nice and check out the link's description down below as well if you'd like to help out support the channel so here we go shout out to spencer over at bounding into comics Faced with limited avenues with which to express their discontent, fans unhappy with Ubisoft's decision to focus on Assassin's Creed Shadow on a pop culture interpretation of the historical Yusuke rather than any sort of native Japanese samurai have left every major YouTube upload of the game's debut trailer with a negative like to dislike ratio. And isn't that beautiful? And yes, you can talk about the only the reason why Spencer says in here that one of the really places you can express it is because people that are out there have been on the Assassin's Creed Reddit posting this, talking about this, and complaining or bringing up legitimate historical concerns, poof, bye-bye, you get nuked. Color a shock there. I'm sure the Discord isn't any better. 
Debuting to the world on May 15th, the trailer in question revealed that not only would the latest entry in the long-running action-adventure series be set in feudal Japan, but it would feature, as noted above, the African servant to a Jesuit missionary turned eventual retainer to Oda Nobogu as one of the resident samurai protagonists. See, they just summed up in one sentence a more accurate description as to who this character actually is in historical value than the entire Assassin's Creed game will. Unhappy with Ubisoft's blatant attempt at pandering that the first East Asian entry in the franchise is, unlike its predecessors outside of Revelations and Black Flag, not allowed to wholly center on its story on native heroes certainly is eyebrow-raising, to say the least. Fans responded to the trailer's reveal by smashing the dislike button on whichever respective outlet of the trailer they were viewing. As revealed courtesy of the Return the YouTube Dislike extension from Mozilla Firefox and Google, at IGN and uh, also Brave as well, the trailer standard upload currently sits at 8.4 thousand likes to 38 thousand dislikes, with its 4K version following suit at 5 thousand dislikes to its 19 down votes. Like likewise, PlayStation's official uploads hold a 15 thousand to 26 thousand downloads, and Xbox's has nearly 6.7 thousand likes to 8.9 thousand downloads. The Game Awards version follows suit with 1.2 thousand likes and 2 thousand dislikes. And I mean, look at this. It's only going to have gotten worse. 37 thousand downloads on the IGN one. 20 thousand on the other IGN, the 4K trailer. You've got another one over here. The PlayStation one is now at 26 thousand. You've got this one over here on the Xbox website is now at 9.1 thousand and then you've got another one over here from the game awards theirs is now at 2.1 thousand down votes unsurprisingly the bloodbath is even worse on ubisoft's official channel ubisoft labarissino's uploading facing 2.9 thousands to 25 thousand dislikes ubisoft brazil seeing 285 likes to at 1.8 thousand dislikes Ubisoft's Japan on receiving the end of a massive ratio of 3.9 thousand to 40 thousand dislikes. As you can see right now, here is at 41 thousand dislikes, 2.8 thousand dislikes, dislike after dislike after dislike after ratio after ratio. And truly driving the point home. The upload of the Assassin's Creed Shadow trailer made to Ubisoft's main English language channel is at the time of writing, which we're about to find out the updated numbers here shortly, was sitting at an astonishingly terrible and franchise low ratio of 267,000 likes to 606,000 dislikes. And rest assured, that number is continually climbing. How far has it climbed now? We are still at 620. 1,000 dislikes now. So we have moved over 14, over 14,000 dislikes since this article was written this morning. And I'm sure by the time you watch this video, those numbers will have grown even higher. This is insane. This game will fail. This game will end up costing Ubisoft hundreds of millions of dollars. You cannot have a marketing campaign launch like this, this abysmally bad, and expect your sales to be anything less than way under your expectations. Way under it. And guess what? This is what you get. This is what you get. You get what you deserve. You have pandered to people who scream loudly in their echo chambers and on social media. But guess what? They don't show up to watch your movies. They don't show up to buy your games. They don't get obsessed with the lore. They don't buy all of your figurines. They don't buy all of your extra credit, extra special, extra features stuff. They don't do that. It's fans like all of you out there watching this video. It's fans like me. It's fans like everyone else out there that's ever enjoyed an Assassin's Creed game more than once. We are the ones that continue to buy your games. We are the ones that continue to buy your figurines. We are the ones that continue to pay your salaries. Yet you ignore us. 
you decide that some screaming fucking moron on Twitter's opinion is more important than your paying customers. Well, guess what? Your paying customers have spoken and they have ratioed the trailer to what should be a very exciting entry into the Assassin's Creed franchise. It's first entry into feudal Japan. And instead, it's now going to blow up in your faces as probably one of the greatest disasters in video game history, at least for you, Ubisoft. You think sales have been bad. You think the nickeling and diming with loot boxes and all of the rest of the nonsense you've tried to inject into your games to bleed your fans' wallets dry? You think that backlash was bad? Even that didn't get you the ratio like this has. This is pandering. It's obviously pandering. It's not trying to stick to folklore. It's not trying to give more credence to a character that you think might deserve it. It's pandering. And not only is it pandering, but it's insulting and ignoring the rich cultural heritage that Japan has. And in their first time going into Japan as a country, they decide to instead not go with someone who is actually of Japanese descent, who is actually a Japanese person who would have lived during this time and been a very prominent, potentially been a very prominent character. No, they decide to instead abuse Japanese culture to push their agenda. And it sounds like based on the ratio out of Japan, the Japanese feel very much like what we do. So enjoy your failure, Ubisoft. Enjoy the pats on the back all of your executives will get at your cocktail parties from all of the rest of your acolytes of the cult possessed by the spirit of the age woke idiots out there. Enjoy it. Because you will continue to lose money. More of your employees will continue to get fired. And I'm excited to announce this game will fail and you will lose hundreds of millions of dollars. So enjoy sacrificing your fans. Enjoy sacrificing your customers. Enjoy sacrificing Japanese culture and enjoy sacrificing hundreds of millions of dollars on the altar to your woke cult and your agenda. Enjoy it. It's just money after all. You can't take it with you. But if I was you, I'd certainly be worried about where I'm spending eternity.